because what what I'm what I've been doing is I take my live streams and I break them down, and I actually am putting out a uh, basically a VOD series of this game that's kind of solely focused around the missions for those who you know could be struggling with a, with a specific mission, knowing what to bring with, um, where to complete the mission. Um, and that's what those videos are meant for. It's really focused around the missions. Uh, but obviously, I'm sure plenty of people who watch them already have already completed them because they're so far in. And unfortunately, with me having, you know, a day job that pays the bills, um, you know, and, and a family, a, a home life, I don't really get to play this game as much as, I, as I'd like. Be careful running out to the far uh, heli. They will, uh, will land one to fly out of base. I land one shortly after coming in. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, they've definitely done that. I've seen that before. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're gonna run to the little uh, hidey hole here, and uh, so far I've not seen at least any crimson. There's, there may be some other. Yeah, there's, there's. We're gonna, we're gonna see other. Uh, players here, but from other factions. One thing I do want to do, though, because obviously I've did this whole I played this in, in game in its entirety on PVE. Um, once, once we probably get like an official date for the wipe, um, I kind of want to hop into PvP and just get get a taste of that. I'm interested to know if uh, players are just as bad at shoot first, ask questions later in this, uh, in the PvP mode of this game versus Tarkov. You're thinking end of October? Okay. Yeah, you're the... Uh, I, yeah, there was another one that came in and said um, said in October as well, too. Um, I've, I've not heard October, though. I've heard in September. Uh, I haven't, I haven't checked to see if, um, there's been any, uh, recent, uh, mission brief, uh, or, uh, any briefing videos posted out recently that talk about it. Um, but from what I heard and what I gathered from reading, uh, and stuff was that it was going to be in September. Was, uh, when the wipe was going to happen because what, what that, what that wipe was going to include was in was it uh, was going to include a big uh of like pretty much like their biggest update or one of their bigger updates and that was going to be introducing the the night cycle runs and then as well as uh adding more loot new loot that we haven't seen yet and then also um i don't know if they were going to um if they were going to change any of the current loot, but I know that the new loot they were introducing was they, they did have some of it was going to be kind of a bit of like a, uh, a rare or a rarity and which obviously that means like it's it's value would be boosted, which uh, that would be pretty cool to see. So I'm going to assume these guys are already taken care of considering I'm not seeing anybody standing up. I'm also not seeing any bodies either. So, <clears throat> I mean, two things. Or probably what it's really coming down to is... Uh, Somebody's already hit this, and it's getting close to where the NPCs are going to start spawning back in. Got nothing there. Nothing here, so we should be good. heard that as well uh but they're planning on doing six month wipes uh and end of october such november will be six months 
uh, the, the game came out in February. So if, if you count the months, actually technically this month right now, August is is the sixth month, which would make sense as, as to the update happening in uh, in September. Yeah, I'm definitely excited for it too. Uh, I'm looking forward to having the ability to do some night runs and looking to see what kind of uh, new attachments they're going to be including uh, when it comes to NVGs, lasers, that kind of stuff. I probably should have came around that corner a little bit, a little bit slower. Uh, but yeah, it looks like these guys, yeah, these guys were killed by somebody else. There's two guys there. Let's just take care of these guys. I don't want to deal with these guys down the road. Are you kidding me? Where was this guy? Where was he? You... <sighs> I mean, I get that the dude was probably just standing there, but usually, usually they make some sort of audible like voice, like indicating that they see you. That was just nothing. And literally a shot to the hip, a shot to the hip killed it. Make that make sense. So I don't know where this fourth plane is. I am not seeing a fourth bird. There's only three on the map. I just realized we grabbed the we grabbed the M4 without a silencer on it. That's gonna bring some attention to us if we have to shoot. Uh, would have to be an insane, impossible angle um, to not hit the helmet in a lot of cases. Uh, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, if there's if, if if you're standing upright and you're facing your target, I mean your face is completely exposed, and we just hurt our legs. Fantastic. Uh, well, I can pop some of these to resolve that. Uh, from, like, from a backside point of view? Yes, I agree. Uh, you're going to be seeing more helmet than, than head. But if it's a front uh, face uh, face view, you're, you, I mean, you're, your entire face is exposed. You know, until they, they, until they incorporate, you know, maybe like some face shields. You know, something to protect your face a little bit better, you know. But that's just, you know, that's just me thinking that that could be the reason why your helmet is still showing 100% uh, condition if you get domed. Is if the hit marker was shown to be on the face and not, not on the helmet. All right, so we've got we've got two guys, three actually, three up here by the barracks. So we're gonna swing back up here. Yep, I think uh, I think those NPCs are starting to spawn back in again. You've got to be kidding me. These guys are starting to spawn back in again.
and I heard movement from off to the right here. Really? Just gonna waste your ammo like that? Is that gonna take care of it? Probably not. Oh, it actually does. Very nice. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Knock that down to one. bunch of these. Alright, I'm good with that for right now. Alright. Where are these guys? Okay, so they're spread out over this way.
Okay, we got plenty of ammo. Oh, it's a player. Oh, it threw me off because he was wearing the beret, all right? Threw me off. Oh, come on, where is the commander at? Uh, let's see. That has a uh, decent value to sell. other player.
Like a little chewy candy bar. There it is. Uh, let's see. We'll just eat the candy bar. Uh, let's see, that was four. <clears throat> uh, that deals of the century. We still need the dang commander, which I'm assuming somebody killed already. I'm assuming whoever was wearing that beret was probably the one that killed him. Hello. I don't want to have to come back here. I really don't. But it looks like I'm not having uh, having much of a choice. Hey, buddy, give me all your keys. Let me have all your keys. That's funny. You guys got any doubles? If you got doubles, I'll take them. I don't got any doubles on me. Unfortunately, I, got, I left those back at base. Oh, okay. Well, this sucks, guys. Commander is already dead.
in in a bit. Really? Hey buddy, that's a nice rifle. Thank you. Except the fact that the scene isn't killing anybody. Myself catch my breath apparently. You here for kills or what? I'm just waiting on the commander to respawn. Oh, okay. Going to town down there. Kind of, uh, kind of thinking we we can't access these unknown doors.
No. What What do you guys think? Do we uh, do, does the do the NPCs spawn no matter how close you are, or do you have to be away from the area? Because I came across somebody today that said that the NPCs will spawn in even if you're nearby. You're not sure? Not sure either is there, Zuin? I mean, it would be nice to know. Because all we need is we just need the commander kill. But if they're not going to spawn in while we're inside the building, then we need to move out. Only problem is... There's like three other guys in this building on the main level. Or on the, uh, on the rooftop. So the question is, are they going to spawn in with the guys up top? Change server? I could, yeah, but then that means I'd have to battle my way through again. Go to the South American servers? Kill them all? Well, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of time. Um, I'll have to be probably be getting off soon but i wanted to hang out for a bit and see if uh, these guys would come back Somebody's been going to town here. A couple bodies out over there. The only thing I know is that they will respawn in after 15 minutes. Yep, that's that's what I've heard too, is 15 minutes. Um, but I was under the impression that you had to leave the area before they'd spawn back in. Um, but yeah, somebody earlier said that you don't actually have to, like, be that far away from the area. You can still be in the same building. They'll spawn back in. Let's see if I can nail this guy. Oh, we hit him. Ooh, headshot, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That weapon sway is insane right now. the hell did you get up there? Oh, 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 this is how. Oh, that is nice. Oh, I like it up here. Is it possible to one shot those guys? It is. He's got to go for the head. That's that's how you one shot these NPCs. Anybody walking around?
Give me the extend Omega there, bud. That's what I'm talking about. What doesn't make sense to me, though, is how could the commander be dead? And that guy running around with, uh, with the uh, beret, if uh, if there were still NPCs on the ground. Like, the only way to get up to the top level is to go into the building. And I doubt he would have just bypassed them and then uh, the NPCs would have ignored him. There you go. Let's put the folder in there just in case. Well, I think uh, I think we're out to back out, guys. This commander ain't showing up. We're gonna have to gonna have to do it another day, I guess. Run, little man, run! I mean, at least we got a mission done. Can't complain too much on that. Let's make sure none of these guys are carrying a key of sorts. Nothing there. Take that. All right, let's uh, call a bird. There we go. About four minutes, thirty seconds till it comes in. dare you
Oh, excuse me. So we got like two minutes and 20 seconds until the bird comes in. Get some music going for you guys. Drink some water. All right, and then I'll be right back, guys. So, we have the one mission done. Uh, deal of the Sentry. We'll get that one turned in. And these two are at the airfield. We still have one final one here at Narth, which is we got to kill the commander. And then we've got the two Tiger Man missions. So, um, yeah, like I said, we'll try to, try to get another stream in this week. Um, before I go to work, not sure when. Well, if anything, it will be Thursday or Friday. Uh, I'm not going to guarantee that. And then, obviously, the next stream will be on uh, Monday of this of this uh, coming week. Raven here. I'm moving out. ETA, three zero seconds. Hmm. Turn this in and see what we're gonna get. Uh, what are we gonna get? Get uh, the 590 shotgun, uh, some experience, and some rep. Um, that is with uh, Banshee. We need to work on turn code to get him up to three. And right now we only have one mission.
All right. Uh, let's see. There, we'll get that moved over. Uh, we'll move that there. Uh, let's go ahead. We will get that turned in. We need to go to vendor first. Uh, Banshee, there we go. Dang, we just unlocked three of these. Airfield, YBL, and Bonpon. 